Uh, one important reason for me to come to this area is the number of crocs and hippos are higher in this river than anywhere else in Africa. I got a really nice large hippo last year and uh, it's, it's a challenge just to be able to get out there and make good shots and co accomplish what your task is. I've always wanted a croc. You don't see all of them all the time, but they're there and you don't want to go swimming out in this river at all. Uh, people do get killed by these things. Uh, just to, just like the hippos kill people. It's a young hippo bull. Young boy. Young hippo. We used a hippo bait that was uh, utilized for a lion hunter that was hunting here at the same time. The moment the first one starts eating, then they'll start coming in. You can use bait such as a hippo leg and anchor it to a solid pole. And you have to have it positioned in a way that uh, your croc will get in a position where you can actually make a good shot. Yeah, there he goes. The first one is eating. They've started. At first, you'll have your bait there, and you'll see small crocs coming in. And you'll be looking, and in about 15 minutes, you'll see 10 heads in the water. It's just really interesting and scary to see so many crocs come out of the water. You can wait sometimes 30 minutes and you have 30 crocs there. The smaller croc will work its way in, start taking a bite, and then everybody will start coming in. And toward the end, the largest crocs will come in and run off everybody else so they can finish the bait off. So as this one big one would move in and bites and move back, Ah, this is the guy. This one here that is swallowing now. Yeah, that's him. Oh, yeah. That's him. He would uh, come in to eat, and actually they would uh, they'd eat so much of the bait that they were going inside the hippo leg. He's trying to put his body inside. He's the one putting his head under the, in the meat there. Uh, the big croc we wanted came in. We wanted a, a broadside shot for Paul. Now he's right on top. If he turns, smack him. Obviously, he must be clear from the ones in front. And unfortunately, that never presented itself. So we decided to uh, wait and, until dark, and still, it did not uh, come our way. We ended this afternoon with sitting in the blind for, for crocodile for about three hours. and. We've seen what we're looking for. Yep. Unfortunately, he didn't give us the opportunity. So the idea is to come back and sit again tomorrow afternoon. We've still got more bait that we can serve these crocodiles. There's a few nice ones, but there's one in particular that is really a dinosaur. So our plan is to, to get him. Right, Paul? Mm -hmm. So we gave it a try a few days later and we set up another bait. We sat in the blind quietly. Over 30, 40 crocodiles came in and out from the bait. Come inside. You see him, Paul? He's going in now. You see him? He's got a scar just behind his nose. Crocs have a brain the size of an egg, and if you shoot it, and it doesn't instantly die, First thing is, you'll hear the most expensive splash you'll ever hear when it goes straight back into the water. He's already eating. Just be ready, Paul. Paul, be ready. And unfortunately for us, that bait was a little too rotten. So by the time the big croc came in, he shook that bait so hard that he, he got a very big chunk of, of meat. Damn. He's taken the carcass. Yep. Okay. And disappeared under the water to, to finish it up with some of the other crocs. Everybody's busy swallowing those bones. There's quite a few of them. This was uh, the one behind eating now. It was the second biggest.
just before it got dark, this, this nice croc came in. Wasn't the big one that we were expecting. Uh, obviously, he had a lot of meat uh, to work on. We could not see his full length because he was smart enough to not get parallel to the bank with us. He kept coming in and kind of hiding behind everybody else. So I took the opportunity when the large one moved back and I had just a small window. Yeah, that's him, Paul. When he turns broadside, let that one move. Stone dead. Reload and put one in the shoulder. One in the shoulder. Perfect. Let's go. <clears throat> now that was an intense crock. Oh yeah. Paul made a fantastic shot on that crop. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was stone yeah, dead. Yeah. Look at the, look at those teeth. We got him. Thanks. My pleasure, sir. The plan came together. This is the second opportunity we've had to shoot this croc. He has the largest teeth of all of them that we've seen out here. I had a couple of opportunities uh, earlier, but too close for me. But he did come back. So shooting swift A-frames, we finished them off. Well, appreciate it. Excellent job. Very nice crocodile. Congrats. This croc had very large teeth and a large mouth. He was a little short because he had gotten in a fight and somebody had already cut off at least two feet of his tail, which is fine. We, we could not see that, but that makes not any difference to me. My wife has no, uh, she has, doesn't want a croc in the house at all, but it's gonna be stuffed and in the house. I might have to put it in front of her uh, Christmas tree or something.